we do two things in SPSS. Uh, I hope you know this is called as the a sheet, this is called as the column, this is called as the row cell. So, we find two sort of sheets there in SPSS. The one is called as the data view, variable view, correct. One is this. So, variable view is defining the variables, defining the variable and their codes, just like we started. And variable view is this precisely that you see. This is about the data, simple enter the data in coded form. And what is meant by the code that is defined in the variable view, that is defined in the variable view. So, it will ask you so many things, three things are important to us, one is name like if I do not write on the top exp, you will be a little confused that you know which one is the fourth column, you need to see again and again. This is called as the name exp, but in the output whenever it will give me something I want total experience of the person that is called as label. So, one will be the name, one will be the label, name is which is apparent in the there whatever you will write in the name will become the column heading in data view. It becomes the column heading in the data view. There are certain rules, rules are it should not start with 1, you cannot write 1 s, you can write s 1, it must start with the alphabet. There are no space allowed, you cannot write s space a you can write s underscore a that is allowed just like the gmail username those sort of certain rules are there. And the third is values, values means define the code here. So, whatever you will write in the name will go into the column heading, label will go to the output and values are the codes that we define and then we will enter the data. So, we will use the same question which you have made in your notebook and we will try to enter the data of the few people, right. Now, from this onwards I require laptop. So, let us make certain arrangements for that. And SPV is SPSS output file. Dot SAV is the SPSS data file dot SPV is the SPSS output file. So, in Excel whenever we use any function or formula the output is given there itself, but in SPSS whatever you do it will always be given in a separate window and that will be a output file. So, there is a data file there is a output file. There are two more sort of the files it is called syntax file and and We got data file, syntax file, output file, draft output was removed later on and the script file. So, as of now we are skipping, we are just working with the data and output file. I will use uh, certain system files, the system files please understand and note down their locations. So, now there are two three things, it is not related to SPSS, it is about general computer knowledge you got various operating systems of window. So, it might be window XP, window Vista 7, 8, 10. Whenever you install anything, do you know what is the difference between install and copy? If SPSS is installed in your system, can I copy and paste in my system, will it work? So, actually install means copy at multiple locations, ok. So, whenever you install any software it goes to the C drive, in the C drive it goes to program files, part of it goes to the window, part of it goes to the registry entry. So, that is why they say you never, you should not ever delete it, you should uninstall it, uninstall means deleting from the various locations, right. In windows 7 and 8 this program file becomes program files x86. 
So, whenever you will install a system it will go to this you will find this also, but your programs will go to program file 686 windows 7, 8 or 10. Then it depends on which SPSS version you got. If you got higher than 18, 19, 20, 21, then in this you will find a folder IBM, in IBM you will find SPSS incorporation. If you got Vista, the Vista version etcetera, then in the program files it will be IBM and IBM SPSS and if you got it is 19 or higher, if it is SPSS version 18 or 17, 16 then in program files whatever you have you will find SPSS incorporation directly. So, it means you have to find SPSS incorporation. So, the two different things can be it can be program files or x86 in case of 7, 8, 10 go for program files x86 and in that if you got higher versions then IBM and in uh, SPSS else directly SPSS incorporation right. So, let me just check it out uh, there are certain this is called as a spreadsheet these are the rows and the columns 1, 2, 3, 4 one limitation these are the people here these are the questions. I got two sort of the view available at the down one is called data view variable view the keyboard shortcut for that is control T, T for toggle, T for Tamil Nadu, control T it comes to variable view where we have few things like name, type, width, decimal, label, values missing only three things are important to us name, label and values rest system will take for its own. There are certain buttons here, this is open, the next is save, floppy sort of, next is print, undo, redo, these are the same in every sort of program. So, you should be comfortable with this, whatever system you are working in. The good news is for any version of SPSS, data file is always .sav. So, if somebody asks a question, I got SPSS 11 version, I made a data file will it open in 22? Look for the extension, if extension is SAV 100 percent. In the previous versions like I use window 11, SPSS 11, earlier it was uh, the output file was now it is SPV, earlier it was uh, something else. Output file may not open previous, but data file always open. So, you can work on control O also, control O is open. Control O is open and let us together find where is the system files, where are the sample files available. So, just go on doing this thing, please open the SPSS a blank page, then control O or you can press this open and you will come here. Now, whenever the such, such sort of things are there, always look for at the top it says look in and there is a drop menu you can change to my computers or C drive. You can all the time find the C drive and what exactly it is looking for look for the file type it is looking for dot .sav files it is looking for dot .sav files. Look at the file type it is looking for dot .sav. Okay. Now, let us go to C drive, in my case since it is a window XP, so I got program files, in your case if it is program files x86 go into that. So, these are all programs, you will also see your programs whatever are installed. Now, if you got wind, uh, SPSS version 18 or less if you got 16, 15, 13, 11 then you will find SPSS directly. If you got 19, 20, 21, 22 the, uh, you should search for the folder IBM and in the IBM you will search for SPSS INC. Go into that, in that folder so where we are SPSS in that 
I find a folder PASW statistics. PASW statistics. SPSS incorporation is not available? In the 16, in the SPSS directly you will find some folders. Okay. Some represent things you can look for. Number one is SPSS incorporation that is important. The other folder is sample which we are looking for. So, in case of 11, just look for if I will go for if I will use my 11 version. So, directly in SPSS I look things like this. Do you look uh, things like this? Okay. SPSS INC in that PASW. In that there is a folder samples. Look for do you find any folder samples? It is available? Hi, in the 16 SPSS. Click on this. Okay, it is not there. You should go for this one. No? You should not go for problem. Let me repeat once again. If you got program file sex as program file sex 86, you should go in it. If you got two folders, then you should go on program files x86. Sample. Now open the sample. This one? Correct. For the 64 bit, it is this one. I, I, I am not sure whether they understand 30 to 64. My point is see the representative things are what we are looking for. We are looking for SPSS INC one such folder. You may find it directly in program files, program files x86 in the IBM folder wherever. The second main thing we are looking for samples. So, there can be intermittent like look for where I found it as SPSS INC in that there is a PSW, in that there is a sample. So, are you able to find sample folder? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. 